started with Parents Time Off. Welcome to Spirited Art. My name is Catherine, and today I have a special helper with me, my son Andrew. Wave, Andrew. All right, he's going to help me with timing so that I don't go too fast. The idea here, if you've watched some of our other videos, the idea with this one is that you don't have to press stop and start, that we're actually going to go real time, and you can just watch the video as you paint, okay? So put your brushes in your water cup, and we are going to get started on the owl first. You also have an ice cream cone. If you would prefer to do that one first, then go to the video for the ice cream, but this one is going to be the owl. All right, take your big brush out of the water. You want to get some of that water out of the brush, and then you can tap it on your napkin. We're going to start with the background. So we are going to take a scoop of white, put it on our mixing plate, and about a half scoop of blue, maybe a little less. You're going for a light blue. All right, so you wanna mix that in a small circle. Cool, this is gonna be a sky blue, and this is a day at the beach with our owl. Now, if you'd like to switch to your little brush to put it on, you can definitely do that. I'm going to use my big brush, and I'm gonna go outside of the entire stencil, so outside of the umbrella. And outside of the owl on his beach towel. So I am kind of outlining this first. If you wanna use your little brush to outline and then use your big brush to fill in, a lot of people like to do that and that's a good idea. That's kind of what I'm using my big brush for, is outlining. Take your time on this too, guys. If you need to stop the video and restart it, that's totally good. You don't, don't feel rushed by me. Good job, Andrew. Take your time. Also, if you go into the umbrella a little bit with this light blue, it's okay, because a lot of the colors are going to have blue in them. Same with the towel, and even if you go over the outline, we're actually going to outline it with the, with the blue without any white in it, so we can clean that up later on. Okay, don't worry about those clouds, those swirls that you might see. We're gonna uh, put those in later. All right, before we leave this color, and I haven't rinsed my brush, I'm gonna take just a little bit off to the side and I'm gonna add some yellow. This is gonna give me a greenish color and I'm gonna use that to fill in the two sides of my umbrella. Good job, Andrew. Mix that in with a little of your blue if you want to use your little brush to put this into your umbrella, that might be a good idea. Also, if you want to change the colors on your umbrella, that's totally good. You have all of the primary colors. We're going to mix a ton of colors for the ice cream cone. So if you want to mix a pink right now, you would put white and red together. If you want to mix a purple, you can put your red and blue together and add a little white too if it's if it's really dark and you want it to be a little bit lighter. Or you can use an orange, red and yellow, kind of anything in between. All right, after that umbrella is finished, I am gonna rinse my brush off. Rinse really well, you wanna stir and touch the bottom of the cup so the bristles open up and let all that paint out. If you see paint on your bristles, then you wanna rinse again. All right. So with our clean brush, we're gonna mix the next color, okay? So take a scoop of white, it doesn't have to be huge. Scoop of white and a little bit of that yellow, uh, the spicy mustard yellow, okay? Mix that together. This is The spicy mustard yellow is that dark yellow color, it's not a brown. Good one. All right, and this is gonna be the color for the face of the owl. 
If it's too light, you can add a tiny bit more of that spicy mustard. And if you want sort of a browner owl, you could actually take a, that looks good, Andrew. You could take a tiny bit of the red brown. Just I'm just taking a little tip of it on my brush and adding it in there. It's gonna make it look just a little bit redder. Okay, if you wanna use a different color for your owl, that's totally fine. If you wanna make a white owl or a gray owl, white and black, um, or just a dark brown owl, you could totally do that. All right, so what we're gonna do with this color, and I think I am gonna use my little brush. So I'm gonna take my little brush out of the water because it's gonna be hard to get around his eyes and all that. I'm gonna use my little brush and I'm gonna fill in the face of the owl around the eyes, around the beak. Go ahead, Andrew, you can ask a question. Uh, yes, the top of his, the head, they might be like his ears or the feathers that are at the top, yes. Okay, because I want to like go in the ears with this color. Okay. I hope everyone's enjoying the summer. Summer weather. All right, that's, we didn't use a lot of that color for his face. Good job, Andrew. All right. I'm gonna wait and give you guys a little more time because Andrew is finishing up his face. That's why he's helping me out here figuring this out. Yep, Andrew put a little bit of extra red-brown in his, so that's why his color is a little bit different than mine. I'll show you the difference. If you like his color better, you can put a little bit more of that red-brown color in, and mine has mostly just that yellow mustard and white and just a tiny, tiny bit of red-brown. All right, good. You don't need to rinse your brush on this because we're gonna take that a little bit of that color off to the side and I'm going to put just a tiny dab of red in it. I'm gonna make this a little bit more orangey. I'm gonna put a tiny dab of red and a little bit more of that spicy mustard. Good, and this is gonna be for his wings. I'm gonna fill in those, they're kind of uh, banana shapes. They're like kind of long triangles on the side there. Those are his wings. So I'm gonna fill those in with this color and I'm also gonna use this color for his beak. Now, if you wanna give him a black beak or you wanna use some of that dark brown for his beak, you could totally do that. I'm gonna use this reddish color for his beak. to get a little more. His beak is essentially a diamond shape. So if you colored over the line or something, you could just draw a little diamond right between his eyes. Okay, and then I think that's all I'm gonna do with that color so we can rinse our brush. Let's rinse really, really well. Okay, good. I'm gonna wait a little bit because Andrew's filling in his beak. Very nice. And you wanna rinse really well because we are actually gonna do a little bit of white. And white and black color makes black. Yeah, right now we're gonna do straight white. I'm gonna stay away from his eyes for a minute because I'm letting the face dry. And I'm just gonna draw some stripes on the towel. So I am gonna fill these in white because it makes it a little bit brighter. So you're gonna skip a space and draw a line. Draw just two straight lines down and fill in. I know it's a little bit hard to see. And then skip a space, draw two straight lines down and fill in. 
and it comes right to the top of his head, those white stripes. That's this stripe and this stripe. They can be as thick as you want, and if you want to do something else with the towel, completely fine. You can make it a solid color. Totally good. Yes. Okay, that's cool. Yep, that's different than mine, but it's, it's good. Very good. All right, keep that white on your brush. We're going to go into those eyeballs. I start in the center and just keep rotating my brush in a circle until I fill in. I do want to hit those pencil lines though. I don't really want to have any room in between the white and the edge. You can leave the line. We are going to outline it with dark brown, but you want to come all the way up to the line. Okay. That's okay. If you make the eyes bigger, that's fine. Owls have really big eyes. All right, and I'm gonna rinse my brush after that and get all the white out. Very good. Also, if you have any like big blobs of paint, you may wanna smooth them out a little bit. You can actually dab some of that paint off on your plate and then pick the rest up with your little brush if you have any blobs. Okay, we're gonna do his body, which is kind of an orange color. So we're gonna take a scoop of that sand, sandy color, that spicy mustard, and just a little bit of red. We don't need a lot. And if that's really dark, you could actually take a scoop of the bright yellow too, because that looks really dark to me. Okay, and I'm gonna actually put a tiny bit of white in part of this. That's his body color. See how I still have that dark? That's gonna be the feathers when we draw in the feathers. Okay, so this lighter color for the body, it's gonna be a scoop of that spicy mustard, a tiny bit of red. If you wanna brighten it up with some regular yellow, you can, and then just a little bit of white. And I'm gonna fill in his tummy. Don't worry about the feather markings right now, we're just gonna completely fill it in. If you want to use short little strokes to give it some texture, that's fine because he does have feathers, so he wouldn't look flat. He would actually have some texture to his tummy. So if you want to do little, tiny little strokes, that's cool. Okay. Now we can use that darker color. And what you're gonna do is start at the top, start at the top corner where his face meets his belly, and you're just gonna do little half circles, like a little chain. I'm actually gonna let him dry a little before I go back with this. So let's rinse our brush, and we'll finish the towel and some outlining, and we'll come back to his tummy, okay? All right, so rinse your little brush. That looks good, Andrew. All right, we're gonna go straight into the blue. And I'm gonna fill in the rest of the towel. Let me grab my palette. Watch how much paint you have on your little brush. It doesn't need to be a ton. Okay, so here's the line where the white stripe meets the blue stripe. Just filling in around his ears, feathers, whatever you want to say. Okay, I'm going to go in between the two white stripes, fill that in. If you want to outline the box, you could do that. I'll come back and put a second coat on that so it doesn't look so streaky. I'm gonna outline his ear and now I'm next to the wing. So he's laying on the towel. And then I'm gonna 
gonna stop at the white stripe. what we got. Are you good on the towel, bud? Okay, cool. All right, let's let that dry for a little bit. We'll come back and put our second coat on. And what we have to do is put that umbrella, the pole for the umbrella is going to be right in the middle, right in the middle of the umbrella, and it's going to come straight down and hit the towel. The rest of the pole is behind the towel, so we don't see that. We just see this little piece that comes straight down from the umbrella to the towel in the center of the umbrella, okay? All right, let's rinse our brush and we'll do the yellow. All right, I'm gonna take, you could use just straight yellow if you want to. I'm gonna add a little bit of white. And so basically equal parts white and yellow to make a light yellow color. If you want it to be brighter, you could definitely just use straight yellow here. It's still pretty bright, but it is, it's toned down. And it'll also be a little less streaky if you put some of that white in. All right, I'm gonna fill in the center of the umbrella. And then we'll let that dry and then we'll come back with the outline. And that's why we're moving around the canvas and doing different parts in a certain order because we're trying to move around and let some parts dry while we work on other areas. Okay, so we're going to let that yellow part dry. Let's come back to the tummy here and see if we can fill that in. All right, so we were using little half circles, remember? And it was going to be that darker color. So when you, when you have your first row, we started at the corner. And now I'm gonna come underneath and we're just gonna do another row. This one's gonna be a little longer because the part of the belly is a little bit fatter. I see that you can't see that very well, so I'm gonna actually use a different color. Here, I'm gonna to go to that wing color. Just add that on top and maybe you can see it a little bit better. Or you can make it darker. Let's see. It's probably still a little bit wet. All right. So these, these are just little half circles and you're going all the way across his body. How are you doing with that, Andrew? Oh, good, you use brown. Okay, that's a good idea. That definitely shows up, right, bud? <laughs> All right, so here I'm coming to the next row. If you wanna use dark brown like Andrew, that was a good idea. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush and we're gonna do a little bit of outlining. You ready to use that dark brown? This is like the dark chocolate brown, not the milk chocolate. This is dark chocolate. It's the dark brown that you have. It's called raw umber. And we're gonna use this to outline parts of the owl. It doesn't have to be a solid outline, okay? Um, we're just gonna separate his wing from his head a little bit. And you can, you can give him an outline up top. Doesn't have to be solid. You can make it little short strokes too. But you're gonna go all around his wings, around his head, around his body. You may need to put on two coats because this dark brown, if you don't have it on thick, it does sometimes looks a little streaky. Good, Andrew, that looks good. I'm gonna add, so I'm gonna add some on top here so it looks a little darker. Depending on how dark your colors are, if you wanna add a tiny bit of black into this, it'll make it a little bit darker. 
Okay, I'm gonna go around his eyes. By the way, when you're outlining, you wanna try to use light pressure. The harder you press on the brush, the thicker the line is. So for outlining, generally we're using a pretty light pressure and we're getting a thin line. Now see, I just pressed too hard there and it looks like he has a black eye. So <laughs> I'm gonna fix that. And I'm also going to put a little half circle in each eye. Okay. That's our friendly owl. He looks pretty friendly. Guys, I'm gonna let this dry and put white back over. All right, white will go over anything, so don't worry about that. The other thing you could do is you could clean your brush. I'll try this. Clean your brush off and try to pick it up. Try to pick up the color. See how it's coming up? I can use my finger, and that way I'll take some of that brown off, and I can just add some white over top. There we go. Now he looks, he looks better now, right guys? <laughs> All right, we're gonna finish outlining the umbrella. Hopefully our yellow is dry. You ready to outline the umbrella, bud? I'm trying to fix this. Okay, he's looking cute, bud. Don't, don't work it too much, you might have to let it dry. You might have to let it dry and come back to it, okay? Okay. Especially, guys, if your paint is pretty thick, it's gonna take longer to dry. All right, before I do the outlining, I'm just gonna come back to this beach towel, put another coat on. See how, how much darker and nicer that looks with the second coat? So it depends how much you use the first time, like how thick your paint was, but it probably will look good if you put a second coat on there. And a lot less streaky. All right, we're gonna outline the umbrella. Same thing like when we outlined the owl, light pressure, okay? It doesn't have to be a solid outline, but I'm just gonna come around the top of the umbrella and all the way down the edges. If you go into the green, that's fine. I'm just gonna do part Okay, let's see. How are we doing, good? All right, last couple things are the white. Oh wait, before we leave the umbrella, we need that little little piece on top. It's like a little tiny triangle. There we go. Draw that in with the, with the blue, straight blue. Okay, yes, bud. Oh, you outlined with brown, okay, that's cool. Can I give this to Grandma? Yes, you can, you can give this to Grandma. All right, so let's dip into the white. We're gonna put a little bit of highlights in his real light touch, just follow the edge of the wing. If you don't wanna do this, you don't have to, but I'm just putting a little bit of highlights in. Same thing around his face. I'm just gonna give him a little bit of white up by those feathers up top, maybe a little under his eyes. Okay. When we do the swirls, it's kind of like drawing an S. Wait a minute, you want to, don't have a ton of paint on your bristles. You want to twirl it as you're coming out of the paint to get a nice point, okay? And then you'll come around, start in the center, come around, and draw your S. You're just giving it a little extra tail at the end, okay? Swirl that. Now we're gonna draw it from the side. You can make the back end a little bigger if you want to. If you want to just put little dabs of white for clouds, you can certainly do that. Here's an S backwards. Okay, and I'm just gonna, hopefully your outline is dry on the umbrella. I'm just gonna put a little bit of white highlights in there. If it's not quite dry yet, just give it a minute or two. Okay, and I think I'm done my owl. He's happy on the beach. All right, we'll see you for the ice cream cone in part two.